Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video. And before we hop into it, obviously you guys can see this huge mat on the screen. And uh, this is going to be the giveaway for 7,000 subs. First of all, thank you guys for getting me the 7,000 subs. And uh, to enter this, all you have to do is be subscribed, like the video, and comment down below saying that like you've entered or you're in. Just say something like that so that way I can enter you in. And uh, yeah, that's all it's going to take to try to win the mat. And let's hop right into the video. So we have Snow Rabbit with 709 rating versus Nash with 1,251 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video. And let's hop right in. We're going to see Nash win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Chooses to go first, 42 versus 45. God, I hate to see it. Uh, opening hand is Nib, Harpy's Feather Duster, Nib, Gamma, Baby. Ooh, running 45 in Dino is, like, really, really bad. Like, I know I say that about Dragon Link, but, like, in Dino, it, it really is. Because you don't have that many starters compared to other decks, like Dragon Link, where they have a lot of starters and extenders. And then he has Red Lair, Genba, Droplet, Connector, and Heritage. Uh, main decking, like, Droplet and Dark Ruler on DB Rated is kind of normal right now because of Buster Bladers. But his hand's really good. Like, red layer plus connector is like an FTK. It feels like it, at least. Summon. And then normal summon. Effect. He's going to chain gamma. Or he's going to have to gamma the aqua dolphin. And then he'll have two warriors on board anyways. Uh, heritage. To add to Rendell. Then activate it. And he's going to use that to add Renaud. Then special summon Renaud. Renaud effect to add back to Rendell. He's going to make a sold, and then a sold effect to add. He's going to add red layer. That can summon itself and add back red layer next turn. He's going to use the effect, probably just send one, and then he's going to bring out Fire Flint and tribute that to bring out Junba. It's a pretty common play that we've seen before. Uh, make Link Cross, effect, bring out tokens. I still think uh, TG Striker is better than this, and I stand by that. And, and and anyone that has like switched to TG Striker and tested it has said that they liked it more. So I, if you haven't tested it, I suggest you do test it. Uh, make Metal, then Metal, bring back Genba. He's going to drop Nib here. Doesn't want to get hit by Herald. Uh, he's going to summon it in defense. Doesn't Actually, this is a pretty fat token. A really fat token. Uh, banish two warriors, add back blade, set droplet pass, draw lost world. He's going to activate harpy's feather duster, he's going to droplet the nib, activate lost world, normal summon baby, lost world pass over a token. Battle phase, attack the token, he's going to destroy baby from deck. And then Nessa's going to admit defeat. Um... Because, like, he would destroy Baby, summon OV, and then he'd be way too far ahead. He'd be able to set up, like, Dolka, Conductor easily. And that's going to be enough to stop his opponent. So now, moving on to Game 2. We are going to see Nesh go first again. Opening hand is Extravagance, Baby Saurus, Nib, Ash, Pill. So last game, he opened up Nib and Gamma, and that's, like, the best. The best it gets, really. I mean, those are both high-impact hand traps. And now he opened up Nib, high-impact, and Ash, low-impact. Um, a lot of you guys want me to explain to you what a high- and low-impact hand trap is, but I, I can't. I really don't know how to explain it. It's like one has high-impact, and then one has low-impact. I, I don't know how to like explain it further. Then he has Durendal, Oliver, Heritage, Talents, and Red Lair. So he opened up a good hand. He's going to special summon Red Lair, activate Heritage, add OG Air. And then normal summon, effect, and that's going to send Gear Free, and then Durendal, add Renaud. And then summon Renaud, add back Gear. Alright, I mean, this, this works too. He said he's lagging, he's thinking on the summon. But, I, like, what would you even do right here? Like, I'm just curious. No idea. 
So he's gonna let it go through. He's gonna summon his soul, the soul effect, to add red lay, and then equip OGA, a soul effect to send. Um, yeah, he's gonna send two, and then he's gonna ash it. Talents to rip nib out of hand. Then this is game. Summon Oliver by sending OGA. Then go on the Link Cross. Summon out tokens. This card's so good. Like actually, this card's crazy. This card, this card will eventually be hit for sure. Go in the formula. Draw Renon. Now that kind of sucks. Uh, go in the metal. And then metal effect. He's going to summon back Oliver, and then go in the Needle, Needle Effect, bring out 001, and then go into the Mechum Phantom Beast, bring out Tokens, 001 bring itself out, and then goes in the Herald, a Power Tool, and then he's going to admit defeat because realistically he's going to have like a Mega... Uh, smoke grenade, maybe not Omega, but smoke grenade for sure will rip a card out of hand. He'd be able to hit like uh, extravagance out of hand and then negate pill, and then he'd have one more to negate to negate whatever the top deck is. But now moving on to game three, uh, we're gonna see Dino choose. He's gonna go first. Opening hand is Imperm, Fossil Dig, Nib, Lost World, Imperm. So, this, I mean, this is pretty good. He has Lost World OP. And that's pretty much all you need to win. And then he has Connect and 45, too. Holy. In 45, opening Lost World OV. But he has Connector, Renod, Red Lair, Gear Freed, Fire Flint Lady. Um, So, his hand doesn't do a lot versus Dino. He needs, like, Talents, Droplet, Dark Ruler, something to, like, stop Dalka and Conductor. You could try pushing through it, but it's very hard. Fossil Dig at OV, because you have to push through it and then win or set up like a good enough negates for next turn. And you have to out Conductor 2. It's a lot you have to do. OV1, Lost World 2. Add Misk. Something that you guys should be doing too. If you're under Misk effect, you should Lost World 1, OV2. So that way you play around Ogre. And then Misk Effect, Ovion Token, Lost World Save, Baby Bring Out Baby, Misk Bring Out Arch, Arch Destroy Baby to add Pill, and then Baby Summon Out Giant Rex, make Link Karibo, then go into Cyframe Lambda, alright, fair enough, uh, Pill Banish 2, Bring Out Conductor, then Rex Summon Itself Out, Overlay and the Dalka set double imperm and pass turn. So he has conductor, Dalka, imperm, imperm, nib. That is uh, not going to be easy to stop. He draws shade for turn, so another extender. Sets it, activate. And then special summon fire flint lady. Um, he's going to let that go through, makes a sold. A soul effect, sending for cost, sending three. He's going to imperm that. Um, so he's trying to play around talents, or he would just Dalka negate that. Because if you get hit with talents there, it could be pretty hard. Because they could take, uh, they could take like, conductor, and then use conductor effect, and then you're forced to Dalka negate, or Dalka gets set. Uh, and then they'd have, then they could have this on board still, and just destroy something in hand. Uh, go in the link cross effect, bring out tokens. Then he's going to tribute for red layer, special summon Renod, no effect of Renod. He said, I don't know if I should play in the TTT. I think you're gonna have to eventually. Make formula effect the draw. He's going to Dalkin negate that. That's good. That's stopping him from a draw and getting the tuner off board. 
Yeah, then we're, we're going to see him admit defeat. There's not much you can do against this board. Uh, when you're playing a combo deck, you have to open up, like, perfect to beat this board. Or you have to open up, like, an out to it, like, Talent, Stark Ruler, Droplet, something like that. Um, maybe even, like, a Kaiju over the Dolka. Uh, but even, like, the Imperm and Nib would make it very hard, because they could just drop Nib, and then... He didn't even go for, like, a Misk. I just realized that. He didn't go for a follow-up play. I mean, he has, like, Nib, but... He didn't set up Misk. He could have done it, though, because he baby summoned Rex from deck. And instead of summoning Rex, he should have brought out Misk and then made Secure Garden on. And then he'd have Misk in Grave right now instead of Rex, and it would allow for a way better follow-up. And it's not like you need this on board anyways. Like, Secure Garden it definitely does the job. I think that would have been the better move, because then he would have had four Dinos in Grave at least. And then he would have had, like, Nib, Imperm, so he would have been able to, for sure, make a comeback, even if his opponent had, like, Droplet or something like that. I mean, then again, he could have, like, waited until, like, end a combo, and then, like, Imperm Herald, and then drop Nib. But, uh, that's gonna be it for the video. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Um, oh, man, I probably should have brought this up at the beginning of the video, but, uh, I shipped it anywhere. Some people only do, like, USA giveaways, but, uh, as long as I can ship to you, I'll ship to you. Like, I don't know what countries I can't ship to, but if you're in one of those countries, then you can't enter. But if most countries I can ship to, so you can enter. Uh, I'm not gonna make you pay for shipping either. So, it's a completely free giveaway, so make sure to enter. It doesn't cost you anything. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys thought, you guys thought you were gonna be able to comment that. I forgot the time, because I remembered. 23 minutes long. Not bad, not bad. It was a pretty quick match, too. Uh, like, game one, he didn't let his opponent play the Dino combo out. In game two, he didn't let him play the Infernal combo out. Or it probably would have been closer to 40 minutes. But that's gonna be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.